What is up, guys? Pro Player Apathy back with a new tip video, another episode of Road to Pro. And today we're going to be talking about how to get known in the community, how to get some damn recognition so you can go pro. And obviously, it gives you a chance of playing with some good players and possibility and just gives you possibilities. And you will be watching a scrim in the background. I love this idea. That way, I get to focus completely on you guys. And you know, my I just do my thing with the SOG. But for the first tip, and I think I'll be giving you guys three big tips as I talk about uh, how to get known in this video. Number one tip is a very important one that a lot of people seem to have forgotten or seem to kind of just put it in the side. Is one, you got to play wagers, you got to play online tournaments. And now, this is the biggest reason why. If you can do good in these online tournaments, and I'm not just talking about variant tournaments, I'm talking about search and destroy tournaments. How many of these SD stars do you see? make a name for themselves put themselves in good positions and like you were talking about dash you were talking about like players like illy selium they're making a name for themselves we're talking about tj we're talking about zuma that was an sd star and ghost and transitioned very quickly i mean they're making a name for themselves they're showing tr showing true dominance to search and destroy which is two game modes in the best of five and they're obviously showing that they're capable of playing and competing with the best especially pros and search when they're constantly winning these tournaments, when they're constantly doing very well, I mean, tur heads are going to look. Heads are going to turn and be like, damn, this kid's pretty good. Damn, this kid's a really good SD player. Like, pros are going to notice. So if you want some real recognition, if you want to get known, a good thing is playing SD tournaments, playing variant tournaments, playing online tournaments, playing wagers with some decent money on the line. Now, you don't have to start hot. You don't have to start with freaking $20, $50 chows. You can play one dollars, two dollars, warm up a get a bit on sites like UMG, CMG. Uh, get yourself known a little bit more in the community. Uh, obviously, get more practice, get better, and then you can start playing the higher chows. And it's just you're climbing a ladder, bro. You're, you're, it just it takes time. Like you're not gonna get there first day. You're, it might take you a year, or it might take you two years until you get some recognition or be like a really good player. And once the skill is there, and you play these online tournaments and play these wagers. People are going to notice you, man. It's impossible. You're going to shine like a star. And then people are really going to... You're start. You're going to start to get known in the community. And people are really going to start looking at you like, damn, this kid's pretty good. And of course, you could stream and do YouTube. But I don't think that really helps in, in the pro scene. Um, especially, it's very difficult nowadays to like build your, rep, your reputation, reputation through that. But I think that's one of the biggest things. Um, definitely play online wagers. Uh, play online tournaments. Online tournaments will definitely, definitely... Of get you known and like you can take the road of sort of becoming an s d star especially if you're a younger age i would definitely recommend uh to play some s d tournaments play some wagers get your name out there if you're 16 17 you're like what should i play what should i do uh definitely you could play variant here there for fun but you definitely definitely be grinding these online tournaments you definitely should try to make yourself really good in s d understand search and destroy very well get really talented at it Start playing online tournaments, start playing wagers, and then start making a name for yourself in that in that in that aspect in those in that scene. And it's and it's easier to transition from S and D to variant, especially once you're very good at search and story. Like it says, two game modes out of a best of five. It's two maps, which is very important. Uh, and you know, like they say, search and destroy wins championships. And of course, once you have the knowledge of like your you understand the basics and you you're, you have very good gun skill. And then you can easily start to slowly transition or respawn. You will need help learning. People are probably on your team would have to help you understand. But it's an easier transition. Now, the next thing is socialize and interact with people. Now, if you play an online tournament and a wage or a wager and you beat somebody who you thought was pretty good, hit them up. Don't be shy. Now, I understand in the community where we're young kids, some people are shy. I was very shy at a young age. I understand some of you are maybe scared or are not comfortable with talking and interacting with some people, but you got to get off your comfort zone. One thing I learned in my life and one thing I learned is getting out of your comfort zone is very important if you want to succeed and if you want to do better. You can't stay in your comfort zone. You're just not going to get too far. Get out of your comfort zone. Socialize. Interact with other players. Hey, I just beat you or you just beat a guy in a, like a $5 wager and a 1v1, especially people who, who don't really have many people to play with. You guys wonder, what should I do? Like, how can I get people to play with play with me? Well, if you just beat someone a 1v1 wager, you got you won, like, last map 6-5, and the guy seems pretty cool, or he says GG's, or, you know, you tell him GG's, and he's like, oh, good games. Like, you know, you, you had me. Like, interact with the guy. Be like, hey, you want to play 2v2 sometime? And the guy's like, yeah. Well, you just got a pretty good partner. 
I mean, based off when you played him, you're like, this guy was actually pretty good. Or you just got yourself a pretty good 2v2 partner, and then you just start climbing the ladder. You start interacting with people. You start socializing with people. You start understanding, like, hey, this guy, you start making a name for yourself in the community. Don't expect it to come to you. Don't expect to, like, for you to get known, for it to be hand-delivered. Don't expect just because you play GBs, you're going to get known. It's a process, man. It takes time. It takes commitment. It takes dedication. Like, and I'm giving you guys very good tips, and I really hope you guys take them serious and really listen to me. But like I said, interact with people, socialize. Don't be afraid to do it. It's very, 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 very important. I'm talking about even on Twitter, you know, tweet people. You know, if you beat a kid or if a kid beats you, like in a two, let's say you play 2v2 wager with your friend and this kid beats you, you can be, and you know, it's a very close game. You know, you thought it was pretty good. Be like, GG's. If you, I'm down to play twos and my teammate's not on, or I'm down to play some uh, threes or fours later if you're down. You know, it's, it's don't be afraid of rejection. It's going to happen. Once in a while, the guy's going to say no. He's going to be like, no, I, I really don't want to. Or he's just not going to respond. It's okay. Hit up the next guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay, guys. I understand. Like I said, some of you guys are afraid. Maybe you're not comfortable. Maybe you're afraid of rejection. Get out of your comfort zone. It's okay. No, it's not the end of the world. If someone says no. Okay. Regain. We're good. Uh, another thing, another good tip, and I really, I think this is a very important one, is play locals travel to events now traveling to events is far-fetched especially if you're not known especially if you don't have a good team etc 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 that i'm gonna leave that to the second part but play at locals now not everywhere has locals not every place has local tournaments but for the most part there are local tournaments like you just got to find the, you got to hit up people you got to find them like they're not hosted all the time but they're there and they're once in a while now, you might have to maybe drive an hour to get to some of these locals, but it is what it is. I think locals is very important. It's actually where I made a small name for myself, and it's actually where I got my opportunity to, like, a top amateur pro team. Or it's, that didn't make sense. A top amateur team and, like, a, a, a mini pro team, semi-pro team. Like, I went to locals. I performed well. I won one of them with them. and made a name for myself in that community and with good players. And... You got to go to these locals that you, you talk to people, you meet with people in real life. You know, you get to hang out with people, you socialize. And it's very important in any community to socialize with people, to get to know more people, because that's that's where you're going to get chances. That's what, you know, you know, like some of you guys know the saying, like, you know how like, oh, pros only team with their best friends. Like, oh, how, why did that guy pick over that player over that guy? Because that guy was better, but he picked up that guy because he's a fr his friend. Well, real life, you know. It's going to happen. That's how it is. It's just people would rather team with someone they're more comfortable and someone they're more friendly with and have more of a connection with rather someone they don't. And that's why, you know, newsflash, you got to do the same. Talk to people. get Become friends with people. You know, socialize. So, like I said, local, these local tournaments are very big. Not to only showcase your skill at these with these people. Let's say you go to a local, right? You, you play the, you get, let's say you get third or fourth at it. You beat the guy, you beat the team who got, who got, uh, who got fifth. Or let's say the team that third beat you got third, but they did, you played very well against them. Well, now you have an opportunity to talk to these guys and be like, hey, you want a team sometime? You know what I mean? Like, it just gives you opportunities. It gives you chances. It, you allow, you're allowed to show your case, your, your skill at a bigger scale. Obviously, you need to get better and things like that, but we're talking about how to get known right now. You know what? Let's run this one more minute. One more minute. Run it one more minute. But, um, you know, that's the big thing. And events, big tournaments is very important to get known because obviously you go to these tournaments, you're playing even at a bigger scale. You're playing bigger teams. You're playing more. You're doing more. And you're at a tournament at a place where there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of players and fans and people who are spectating, but like maybe some of them want to play. And again, it allows you to socialize, interact with people, allows you to showcase your skill, allows to give you a chance to be someone, to do something, and it gives you opportunities. Opportunities are everything. And you should make, out of these opportunities, you should take every good opportunity and take it and run with it and try to do your best with it and, like, do something with it. But these are my biggest tips on how to get known. Road to pro. Tip number two, episode number two. Um, getting known is very important and I know it's very difficult nowadays, especially, but I really hope, uh, these three big tips can help you become better and become pro. And like I said, it's going to take time. It's going to take time to get known. It doesn't happen a second. Like they said, bro, the garden wasn't built in a day. Like, like Florida wasn't built in a day. 
you know, it goes something like that. So just remember that it's going to take time. It's going to take dedication. Some people are going to quit. Some people are going to stick to it. And hey, you never know. They might make it. So maybe you'll be that guy. So hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I got three videos, three episodes left to do. This has been your boy Apathy. And I'll see you next time. Peace.